Welcome back. As you can see, the spring wheat is doing excellent. It's difficult now to weed any of it due to the fact that it all looks like grass, so I think I'm going to give that up for a while. The beans are finally starting to take off. Even the corns managed to germinate. Last time I looked, it was about 13 corns have sprouted up. You can see that the beans are pretty nice and healthy. This one's pretty big, probably about three inches. Here's the DiMaggio onion and elephant garlic bread. As you can see, the garlic is doing quite well. Here's a close-up shot of the DiMaggio onions. They're probably about three times the thickness of what they were when I first planted them. As you can see here, here's a shot of the onion scapes. This onion wants to flower. I'm continually amazed here with the yeast garden. These broccoli were planted out, I do believe, February 26. Now they're about a foot tall. Doing quite well, considering the fact that they don't get a lot of sun over here. Basically just morning sun and ambient shade in the afternoons. There along the south board is Swiss chard. It's a little bit of uh, dinosaur kale along the border between them. Along the far wall over there is a patch of onions. Next to those are radishes. Just south of the radishes are golden beets. Then dinosaur kale. In the middle is Brussels sprouts. mixture of various lettuces and some curly kale. Hello Kiki, you protect that garden from pests. Here's the front yard broccoli bed. Here in the front were the original nine or so that I had planted. doing well. They're nice and thick. However, oddly enough, they're not as tall as the ones on the east garden, even though these ones get all day sun. But they were planted probably about a month later than the ones on the east garden. There's the impressive salsa broccoli. Now all the ones in the back were planted probably uh, three or four weeks after these ones. This bed has mustard, various lettuces, and Swiss chard in it. Here's a good shot as you can see the last several weeks these mustards have been just shooting up crazily. They're really good in salads because they have a nice spicy note to them. Right in the middle there is a red Swiss chard. To the left of those are spinach. Those are larger red Russian. And along the board over here is the garlics. Just in front of that mustard you can see that's a garlic that has managed to come back up even though I thought it might have died.
There's another reemergent garlic. This is the main salad bed. It produces about a colander's worth of salad every two days or so. I've been letting the red Russians grow a lot bigger. That way I can pan fry them instead. Here's another one of those garlics that had died off when I had planted them, but it's coming back. Should be about three still buried in there. That one right there survived winter, and then the one at the very end just recently came back up. Pretty ornamental red Russian kale. Some cilantro on the middle. Here's a potato bed. Towards the house it's uh, red potatoes, and then towards the street is uh, russet potatoes. As you can see, finally after all this time it's starting to emerge. Here in no time it should be full. This was the totally devastated Solana bed. Along the east there are all the eggplants. On the west over here are the peppers. Here's a frozen stock but still green of okra. Here's a green stock of okra and there in front of it is actually is one of the seeds I planted a week or so ago. Coming back up. Should be a couple more that end up germinating. There in the center is an eggplant stalk. So it's there. And all along the edge there. I noticed earlier that they're starting to sprout new leaves on them. This Polish linguista tomato is only probably about four inches tall, but out of all of them, it managed to survive you know, the, the heat and the, the winter. All these stalks are still green, so it leads me to believe that they're going to end up sprouting. So I'm giving it a week or two before bothering to dig them up and replant the stuff in the basement. Just like the tiny little Polish linguista, this one ended up you know, surviving with no issues. Here's the basement of all my transplants, or as I call them, replacements. Those are a bunch of three to four inch tall eggplants. Problem is I don't remember if they're a swat or a pinkdom. Strawberries. These are a foot tall tomato plants, Polish linguista and brandy one. Here's some of those yellow strawberries I grew from seed. Pretty impressive. These eggplants in the middle. As you can see it's about maybe five inches tall. Pretty large leaves. I still don't know if it's an Aswad or Pink Tungo. These Jumbo Sweets have doubled in size since I planted them a couple weeks ago. The leeks are growing slowly. They haven't really gotten any thicker. But the Amposas and the Stuttgarts are getting thicker. Turns out all the potatoes ended up surviving. The freezer burn parts have dried up and fallen off. As you can see the bed's doing quite well. Here you can see the individual potato plants planted.